Morning, the 23-year-old suspect will appear before a judge for the first time and he'll have to start answering to 15 charges. For two hours this afternoon, police say he held 13 people hostage inside the Community First Credit Union in Northwest Jacksonville. This evening, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office released Humphrey's new mugshot. He is charged with 13 counts of kidnapping, one count of armed bank robbery, and one count of auto theft. And tonight, we're hearing from the suspect's father. First, Francesca Amaker. She spoke with one of the people held hostage inside the bank. Fran, he actually needed immediate medical attention. Yes, of course, officials did say no one was harmed, even though it were, we are told that Nicholas held a gun to some of these people's heads. But the man I spoke with, fortunately, he was able to make it into an office where he and a couple of other hostages locked themselves off. But at the all of end of this, he had to need medical attention. I took off in there, me and the, the lady and a, and a man, and we, and we locked the door. And I got on my back on the floor, and the man got up under the table, and the lady, she was stood back, she was on the side of the door like this. He would lock himself in an office for nearly two hours. Roger Green says it was prayer that saved him and 12 others from being harmed inside this credit union Thursday morning. According to authorities, when 23-year-old Nicholas Humphrey entered this Community First Credit Union for a second time, this time with his dog, he pulled out a gun and fired it at the ceiling. I didn't hear him say nothing, but I heard that bullet pop. And when that bullet pop, I... So two hours went by, you just stayed in that room? Stayed in that room on my back. And just playing dead? That's right. Mm -hmm. Until that, that machine come and knocked that door open, and then the lady got up, and I told her, I said, when you get up, now do this. Fortunately, after two hours, police say Humphrey became distracted by a noise and the SWAT team was able to move in. No one was physically injured, but Mr. Green tells me he did have to get checked out by doctors. What's on your arm there? Is that dealing with anything? Well, that's where they had to uh, put some IV in there and they was working on my blood because my blood pressure was up. But it was up when I left this morning and it was up when I went to the doctor. And so after all that went on, that made it went up and showing up. What would you say to Nicholas Humphrey now? Uh, hard to say. But all I can say is God is still good. Amen. And who don't know God, they need to know him right now, not later now. Because life, life ain't, ain't, ain't promised to nobody. And Mr. Green was taken to the St. Vincent's where he was met by family members and friends. He's expected to be okay, but he says he will never forget what happened to him and 12 others today. For now reporting, Francesca, I'm channel 4, the local station.